some are a bit more fidgety, some are a bit more aggressive, some are just quite laid back. But they are a nice, mellow, quiet cow. If we don't look out to them, they won't look out to us, uh, as in they won't give us any milk. And if you see them twice a day, after a while you get to know your cows. And if, if one may come in at the end, when she would come halfway through or at the beginning, and then you think, oh, I wonder what's wrong with her. Farmers are really uh, doctors and nurses because you have to, to know the animals and have to care for them. My grandfather, he was a first generation farmer and he started off farming in the 1940s. So my father kept them and now I've kept them and I'm the third generation. Our cows are special because they're Guernseys and they're virtually a rare breed. There's probably about 5,000, 5,500 breeding cows in the country. And if you look at all the Guernsey farmers, they're all pretty rare breed as well, aren't they? <laughs> Big dairies take all these beautiful herds of single herd milk and they put them all together. And it's just like taking all the wines from all the vineyards across France and making red wine and white wine. And it shouldn't be because all these individual herds are producing milk special to that farm. They're grazing their own pastures, which are growing as select grasses, and maybe some of the old wild herbs. And then they've got a flavour all of their own, unique to that farm. Raw milk is milk that comes straight from the cow, that's not been pasteurised or heat treated at all. And a lot of people use it for health reasons, a lot of people use it for sporting reasons because of the, the natural bacteria and the enzymes in it. We've got all, all of that in our milk because the pasteurisation not only kills the bad bacteria, but it kills the good ones as well. It tastes different. It's creamy, delicious. It's got a sweet, smooth silkiness that you lose the minute you put any heat near milk. It's, it's just a whole different experience.